Hey YouTubers and figure lovers, what's happening? Nanny D is back with a quick review of the new Hot Toys City Hunter from Movie Predator 2. Um, a very cool figure that I've been waiting for a very long time because I missed out on the first edition and uh, since I'm a huge Predator fan and this is actually my favorite Predator I was anticipating this figure so bad ever since it was announced. Now in hand, I have to tell you brothers, I am not super excited because this figure has some little flaws and imperfections. Um, let's start first with the head sculpt. The head sculpt uh, in general is nearly perfect, it's very detailed and very nice. Um, what bothers me here, as you see the obvious seam lines where the mandibles are attached to the face. Um, we know that issue or problem already from the uh, classic Predator. Um, yeah, probably, or I guess there is nothing we can do about it, but perhaps Hot Toys could sculpt it uh, in a better way that when you attach it you don't see the uh, seam lines that obvious. I know it's nitpicking but when it comes down to you know predators I'm a fucking nitpicker. Also the paint job of the mouth is uh, not really nice. I have already touched up um, the mouth. As you see now it looks quite nice but um, it's, it's a sloppy paint job to be honest with you. The paint job in general is okay. It's not super, super accurate um, like in a movie, but it does the job for a mass product. It's uh, pretty good, I guess. The dreadlocks, in my opinion, are a little bit too short. They uh, should be at least, I don't know, maybe um, probably half an inch. Maybe not half an inch, but a uh, quarter inch longer. Um, the armor, the, the sculpt of the armor is perfect, but the paint job on the armor is sloppy or unfinished, I would say. Um, I have already touched up the armor and uh, highlighted it with a little bit of copper and uh, gold, just to make it more movie accurate, because the way you get it is just plain dark brown, and uh, that's not the case in the movie. So, as you see here, all these golden and copper highlights that I have applied to give it this kind of you know metallic and shiny look but as I said the original paint job as the figure comes with is just dark brown which is in my opinion a shame because Hot Toys could have done this way better but yeah it is what it is. Um, the paint job of the body um, is very good it's uh, very movie accurate and nothing to complain there. What's also nice is this time Hot Toys used a little bit of a thinner netting so uh, it looks very neat. Let's turn this baby to show you the back side. I see the, the sculpting details are very very nice. It's a medic equipment uh, you can open here the case and you have like all these all the tools in there that he needs for his arm surgery um, the gun the laser gun is movable you know you can uh, point it in any direction you want to and uh, also you know put it back and attach it to the back side of the armor The helmet or the biomask has the usual light up features when you attach the mask with the wire to the backside of uh, the armor. Now, what bothers me most, fellas, is the hands or the additional hands you get. Now, Hot Toys provides, um, I think, one, two, three, four um, right hands. This one here is for holding the disc, that's just a fist, and this one is uh, to pointing at something, like, you know, um, entering some data in his gauntlet or pointing at something, whatever. 
And for the left hand, all you get is a fist, this um, kind of a relaxed hand, and this hand that I put here on, which is basically, or more or less, the same style of hand. What's definitely missing is a hand that is able to hold the spine and the skull. Because this is an iconic um, pose or scene, I think, where the predator stands on top of the roof, you know, this lightning scene where he raises his spear and uh, screams at the uh, trophy that he just got. So there is no way to do that. You can either put the skull in the right hand or the spear in the right hand, but you can't display him with both. So that's really a shame. I don't know why Hot Toys didn't pay much more attention to that. It's a, it's a misconception, in, in my opinion. But instead, you get like two of the oxygen masks. Um, I show you only one, the other one is still in the box. Which I don't understand, because the oxygen mask is really not an important item and is shown only, you know, very quick in the movie. So why we get two of these, I don't know. This is um, the stump, the arm, you know, the severed arm. Um, here, the color of the blood, you know, this bright green blood is very nice, but the rest of it is, it is so sloppy, you know, it just looks like, uh, you know, like my son, who's three years old, painted it. Too bad, because these are these kind of details that uh, lets this figure a little bit down. Um, the mandibles, the open mandibles, um, they are okay, but um, I don't think it's uh, the best way to display him. I think uh, the closed mouth or the mask on, that's the way. So overall impression of the figure, it's, uh, it's a nice figure. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, sorry guys. It is definitely a huge improvement compared to the uh, first edition of the Predator 2, but I think Hot Toys could have done a better job um, with all these little, you know, drawbacks or imperfections that I have just pointed out. Also, the box you get um, is boring. You have this red um, picture or red toned picture of uh, the Predator and um, yeah that they have could have done just a little bit more a more interesting uh, artwork just put a little bit more effort and work into it but I guess they just rushed to release this figure as soon as possible before Chinese New Year so um, it is what it is um, I'm happy to have him but as I said Hot Toys could have done a better job. So, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> See you around on YouTube and have a good time and enjoy your collection. Bye bye.